Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 19 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Happy New Year all and welcome back to the DR1 build. The first in 2022. To begin this episode, we're going to rectify the pig's ear we made of the mid-wing in the last episode. So, we're going to respray it in Tamiya XF23 light blue. But it's going to be light over the mid-wing, just enough to clean it up. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we go, there's that done and looking pretty good. But those ribs need a bit more definition. So with Tamiya's X10 smoke, we can give those ribs a bit more definition. So let's get that cracked, shall we? Now that looks a lot better, nicely defined. Next, we're going to fit the lower wings and then the lower engine cover. So let's crack on and get that lot fitted. There we are, bit of a clean up and all goes in nicely. Now, you see this bit circled? Yes, that bit. That has to be painted red, then a bit of clear plastic on top. So, let's get that bit of plastic cleaned up, then we can get the hole painted, and then we get a bit, bit of plastic fitted. Cool, that was easy for me to say. So, here we go. There we have that part fitted satis. So now it's time to move on to fixing the top engine cowl to the midwing. That didn't take long, did it? As you, the reason for that was I did all the test fitting off camera. Yes, I know I didn't. I forgot to film it. Anywho, moving swiftly along. Let's get the engine firewall resprayed. I'm using Alclad steel as the base colour and airframe aluminium as the little swirly whirly curly parts. I hope. So let's get this cracked, shall we? Well, I certainly got some swirly, whirly, curly parts in there. God knows why. You're not going to see it when the bloody engine's on. Oh well. Time to move on to repainting the central hub flat black. I'm using Tamiya XF1, so here we go. There we go, all done, including the connectors. Blink, and you missed the quick flash to the camera. Note to myself, always hold it up a bit longer. Terrible for that. Anywho, I'm just gonna glue this part of the firewall back to the main fuselage as it came apart. And now to glue the rest of the lower engine cow to the airframe. 
I only glued the front down earlier, so let's get that sorted, shall we? That was easy enough, some weight added to it, just to push it in, and I left it for a few hours to dry. Now, let's move on to test fitting the struts for the lower and mid wings. Here we go. That is looking nice. I'm happy. There we are. That's the mid wing fitted. Now, before we fit the engine, I'm going to give you a look around the Fokker in real time. Then we'll get on with fitting that said engine. There you go, there's a quick look around. As you can see here, I'm checking out the decals. I'll be honest, I am absolutely bricking it about knocking those back. But I'll give it a rain check at the moment. So on with fitting the engine. There we go, that's the engine fitted. As you may have seen, I also test fitted the front cowl at the same time. Found it needed a bit of fettling. So, let's get that fettled, shall we? All fettled and fits nicely. Now to glue it into place. There we go, that's the engine cowl all nicely fitted. Now we're going to be sorting out the correct wheels and tyres for this. So let's get this one sprayed. There we go, that's the wheel done. Now for the windshield, we're going to spray this Alclad steel. That's the windshield done. Next up is the wing skids. There we go. One set of wing skids done. Now let's give the prop a varnished look. I'm using Tamiya X24 clear yellow. There we go, that's the prop varnished. As you can see, I've given it quite a heavy coat to simulate the varnish. Next, we have the prop hubs. Here, I'm using Alclad steel. There we go, that's the prop hubs done. Now, I was having problems with the engine cowl. It kept popping off. So, out with the super glue. There we go, that's the cowl done. Next, to angle the ailerons on the top wing, as they would never be centralised unless they've been chocked. Mm -hmm. 
There we go, one set of ailerons positioned satis, or are they? Anywho, let's move on to fitting the prop hubs, like so. There we have the wing skids fitted satis. This little beauty is starting to come together. Next, we're gonna give it a pair of dirty knickers. It's dumped a load of oil as it shut down and it's gone all over the shop. To do this, I'm actually using real used engine oil from my Mini. We did this by putting blobs of oil where it would have come out the panels. Then I used an airbrush to move it about a bit. Once I'd done that, I also used the airbrush to blow air through a normal brush to make speckles all over the shop. We'll leave that to one side to dry if it ever does, fingers crossed. Next, let's get the struts fitted to the top wing. Here we have the struts glued in place on the upper wing. Also, before we glued them, we did a test fit on the mid wing too. Next, we have the undercart support struts to do. There we have the main undercarriage support legs glued in place into the fuselage. We haven't glued the axle in place yet as I'm just using it to square up those legs. Next, the inboard struts for the upper wing. Here we go. There we have the upper wing inboard struts glued in place. Next, we're going to finish painting the spandaus, including the ammo belt, not the ammo yet, then fit the windshield and the guns. So, here we go.
So there we have those parts fitted satis and really looking good. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 19. If you want to see what happens in episode 20, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>